you got to have focus. You've got to be so focused that nothing else matters. Because successful people are zoned in. They've learned how to concentrate. They've learned how to avoid distractions. Someone once said that distractions lead to destruction. That if you deviate an inch, you'll lose a thousand miles. So you've got to be focused. Focused means to follow one course until successful. But to be double-minded, triple-minded, quadruple-minded, to have so many things on your mind, so many things that you're working on, so many paths that you're going on, will keep you from accomplishing that one thing, let alone those several things. So you gotta clear away the distractions. You gotta figure out what it is that you actually want and go out and get it. And you gotta believe it's possible for you. You've gotta know that there's nothing keeping you from what it is that you want but you. So you've got to have a chief aim. What is the one thing that I believe that I was born to do? What is the one thing that I've been put on this earth to accomplish? If you haven't discovered that, you haven't discovered life. And you're drifting from day to day, moment to moment, just existing, just surviving when you could be living. When you begin to realize that God has formed and fashioned you for a specific purpose on this earth, and your assignment is to fulfill that, because fulfilling that purpose gives you life. Fulfilling that purpose benefits the world. And so you have been commissioned and the world is waiting on you to walk into your destiny, but it requires focus. It requires concentration. It requires you having what we would call stick to Can't be led astray. Can't be caught up by opportunity because every opportunity isn't good for you. Sometimes opportunity, which looks, which looks good and sounds good, can actually be a distraction. So what is it? If money weren't an option, what is it that you would do? What is it that you have the greatest passion for? If you had never paid a red cent for it, what would you do? Who would you serve? What would accomplishment mean for your life? Whatever that is, you've got to have a burning desire for that thing. I remember one day God woke me up at five o'clock in the morning and said, begin writing. And he shared a word with me that I've never heard before, but it stuck with me to that point. He said, you've got to have ferocious intensity. You've got to be so dedicated, so committed. You've got to be violent in your approach. The Bible says that heaven suffereth violence and the violent take it by force. You've got to be ferocious in terms of going after your goals. You've got to have a high level of intensity, which means that nothing's going to stop you. Nothing's going to hold you back that you're going to pursue, you're going to achieve, and you're going to attack that thing with all of your might until you accomplish it. Now, when you've done that, you've lived. So what is it that you're here to do? What is it that you're here to be? Who is it that you're here to serve? Let that be your 2017 gift to yourself so that purpose and fulfillment becomes a part of your reality. What if you were to place all of your focus, all of your energy, all of your intensity on your relationship? What would that do for your life? Philippians 3, 12 through 14 in the Living Bible Translation says this. I don't mean to say that I have already achieved these things or that I have already reached perfection, but I keep working towards that day. When I finally will be all that Christ saved me for and wants me to be. No, dear brothers and sisters, I am still not all that I should be. But listen, I am focusing all my energies on this one thing. Forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead. I strain to reach the end of the race and receive the prize for which God, through Christ Jesus, is calling us upon this earth. He's talking about focus. 
He's talking about concentration. He's talking about ferocious intensity to take all of your energies and to zone in and focus on one specific task. What would happen if your focus was your marriage? If you dedicated every ounce of your being to strengthening that, which is the very foundation for your family and your foundation of the family is all that you need to survive in this world because that is where you come home to every single night. That is where you find your peace. That is where you find your solace. That is where you find your community to zone in on your relationship and to do it regardless of what the outcome may be to do it regardless of whatever it may look like because what it looks like can be deceiving because all of the time and energy and effort I'm putting into the relationship, I'm not seeing any results. I've been working at this and working at this and working at this for days, <laughs> sometimes for weeks and for months, but I'm just not seeing any turnaround. Why isn't things happening for me? Why aren't things turning around? Why aren't things getting better? You've got to have focus. Focus is a long-term strategy. You can't put a time clock to focus. You stick to something until you see results. It reminds me of the story of the Chinese bamboo tree. There was once a man who bought some Chinese bamboo tree seeds and went into his backyard and dug up a hole in the ground and placed those seeds in the ground to grow his tree. Now, one thing that's interesting about this tree, it takes five years to grow. So it requires a level of commitment, a level of discipline and high intensity and focus to fulfill this particular goal. So as he's nurturing the soil and watering the lawn and allowing the sunlight to hit it in just the particular way that is necessary for this tree to grow, he does all that is necessary for the fulfillment of this tree. Now, he knows that there is a germination process that takes place underneath the ground that he has no idea about. All he knows is that he's committed to his task and his assignment. And oftentimes we're so focused on someone else or something else and what they are or not doing. And because we don't see any evidence of what they're doing, we give up, we cave in and we quit. We throw in the towel because it's taking too long or it's just too hard and we somehow get distracted. But when we place our focus on our tasks and our responsibility and our duty, then we stay on the beaten track. So year one into his journey, nothing comes up out of the ground, but he's just as committed and dedicated. Year two, same thing. No physical, visible results. Year three rolls around and all of a sudden a neighbor comes on over and says, hey man, what you doing? He says, I'm growing my Chinese bamboo tree. And the neighbor says, well, listen, I've been watching you for the past three years and every day you come out to water this lawn, but there's nothing coming up out of the ground. Call it quits. Give up. Let it go. Try something new. But the man was committed to growing his tree. And he said, thank you, sir, for your opinion and your wisdom. And I appreciate what you're saying, but I'm dedicated to my task. Year four, still nothing. He begins to question. He becomes weary. He becomes full of doubt, but he realizes in the back of his mind that, you know what? It takes time for things to manifest. Into the fifth year, the first day into the fifth year, there's something that pops up out of the ground. And then within five weeks, now this is a fact in terms of how this tree grows. In five weeks, this tree grows 90 feet tall into the sky. He has manifestation and fulfillment of all that he had been working for. But the question that remains is this, did it take five weeks for the Chinese bamboo tree to grow or did it take five years? Well, the answer is it took five years. But if he had ever stopped watering the lawn, if he ever stopped tilling the ground, 
If he ever stopped allowing the sunlight to hit it in a particular way, if he ever decided to give up to cave in or to quit, that tree would have died in the ground. Likewise, when it comes to your purpose, your vision, your dreams, your marriage, when you refuse to put in the work because it takes too long or it's just too hard, that marriage, that dream, that goal will die in the ground. And it is your responsibility to bring about manifestation in your life. And it happens when you are dedicated to the principle of focus. Following one course until successful.